Okay, so this is going to be a short video. I'll be doing it in bullet points just so it's a lot more easy for people to understand. But this is just honor and progression and um, just general shit like that. So first of all, they acknowledged the metal was bad. They handled it very badly. And their actions did heavily negatively uh, impact the community, uh, the metas and just general shit. So basically they're saying Gen 2s, um, S classes that did too much, 6s that did too much, just ruined the meta and made it stale for people. So going forward, they'll be, you know, just heavily well a lot more cautious when releasing characters and how they will heavily uh, impact the method which is good they're self-aware that they know they fucked up um also level 110 tier 2 um level 110 tier 2 s classes can be traded in for mythic tokens at the launch but it's limited to two so two mercers two peats whatever maybe you can only trade in for two so if you got like 30 s classes um and you get two of each, you can claim 60 mythic tokens. But that being said, each um, each character is worth a different amount of mythic tokens. So the newer the character, the more it's worth. The older it is, the less it's worth. Just on availability, I'm assuming. Um, they also want players fighting with mythic uh, fighters faster. Um, so, and when I mean faster, I mean they want gold being fought with uh, very fast. So, they do say your S classes will still be valuable for um, a long time and they won't immediately outclass uh, Mythics, but they're sort of contradicting themselves when they say um, they want people fighting with myth um, gold uh, gold faster. So I don't know. We'll have to see on that. Um, also, all players will be awarded with Mythic Fighters Day 1. Uh, they will be getting new game modes and content, which is pretty good since it's stale as shit at the moment. Um, they do emphasize that mythics won't outmatch immediately, but we'll have to see about that. I don't know how much I believe that S class is still good for old school roadmaps and all the other game modes. So it's good to keep your hands on them. Mythic tokens can be used for silver and gold at release. And like, that's the rarities. Um, 35 mythic fighters and 60 total mythics can be acquired through token exchange. Any others will be, um, any other that's not available through the museum will be available through gameplay. So I'm guessing sort of like maybe a Brutus event sort of thing where you just grind month and then you just trade in, I'm assuming. Um, you do not consume your S-classes when you trade in for the tokens. Um, you still keep them, obviously. Um, if you do do the Torch maps um, for Magna, Lee, whatever it might be, none of that will be affected through the um, transition to Mythics. You can still trade them in. Um, or your six stars, your five stars, and whatnot. Also, non S, um, non S, uh, I don't know what you call it, but non ascendable, um, six stars that can be made into S classes, um, can be ascended, uh, to silver, um, silver mythics. But when consumed, you get your re your vet rings back. So, for example, I don't know if you got like a, I don't know, a, a Diego or something, you can just get rid of him. Like, he, he will be consumed, but you do get your 30 vet rings, or your 30 level of vet rings back, which is very nice. Also, they're updating prestige. I do believe if you're past prestige 13, you can see how far you are past prestige 13. Uh, I don't think many who want to see that, but I think they updated that. Uh, also, I think there'll be a lot more uh, buffs when it comes to prestige. We'll have to wait and see, though. Permanent collections... Um, to reward six star collections with new mythic content that's also being added um, you can now ascend five stars to six stars um, which is pretty good considering you can eat the six stars for um, mythic ship which I think will be very nice um, they're, they're heavily heavily emphasizing your S classes will still be useful in like uh, old school roadmaps and just general shit when it comes out also they are saying your mods and weapons will still be good and will be used to maximize the, the uh, mythic characters uh, fighting potential and stats so i don't think i have to say this but um don't touch the, the bound weapons on the s classes just don't do it work on unbound weapons and like i said like the mods will still be fine um they do say why um why this was needed um the mythic characters they basically said some s classes just did way too much uh, which I do disagree with because some of them just did fuck all and it was very straightforward. And also they are saying the S classes were way too confusing. Whereas I don't really agree with that either. But, you know, that's what they're saying the need for the reset was. 
Um, they're also saying um, acquiring characters will be a lot more easier now. Now, they say you will not need a 5-star or a 6-star and you will not need to trade in for cards, which is good because the card system was pretty, pretty slow. And trading in for the 5-star and 6-star was just really shit. Um, you will now be able to get things directly through the grey market, depots and fighter wheels. Our goal is to uh, is for players to acquire a new variety of characters um, and work towards improving their favourites rather than being stuck and eventually getting the character that they've been chasing so long for and then it just being utter shit. So in summary, they're saying no need for 5 stars and 6 stars anymore. Um, well, when going for Mythics. And you will not need cards anymore as you'll just be going to directly to the museum to collect most of your shit when it does drop. Um, also, they are saying player choice will still be a thing. Um, they will be implementing a permanent grey market tab um, after launch where a variety of Mythics fighters will live. Along with the players pick and choose from their favourite characters. So, the, the grey market is pretty much where it's all at. And, um, yeah. So, just to sum it up. You need your characters to level 110 to trade in for Mythic Tokens. No, you do not lose your S-Class Fighters. 5 stars can be ascended into 6 stars. 6 stars can be ascended to Silver Mythics. But if you do ascend it to Silver Mythics, you do get back all your Veteran Rings, but you do lose to 6 star. They're also saying uh, procedures get an update. Um, your weapons are still very viable. You know, um, your S-Classes will still be viable in the future. And they will not immediately get outpowered. And I will go into this a little bit later. But the campaign will definitely need your S-classes for that. And yeah. Your torch maps, your collection of the museums won't be changing all that much. And there will be 35 mythic fighters and 60 total mythics at, um, at the release date. Which can be traded for tokens. So I hope that made it a little bit easier to summarise. That's pretty much all they really emphasised. They said a few more things but I don't really find it very useful um next video should be on lieutenants and oh shit what was it? it was lieutenants and um lieutenants and conquest that's it that'll be the next video it should be out tomorrow hope that i hope this is uh useful to you boys and uh yeah peace out